Welcome to your Tutor Online video lessons. Today we're going to look at how to raise a parenthesis to an exponent. Here's an example. If a parenthesis is raised to an exponent, then we're going to multiply the exponents inside the parenthesis by the exponent on the outside of the parenthesis. So here we'll do 3 times 2. We're going to keep the same base, and our new exponent, 3 times 2, is 6. If you want to evaluate this out, you'll do 4 times itself 6 times, or in other words, 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, times four to give you 4,096. The same rules apply to variables. We're going to keep the same base and the exponent will change. Here's an example of more than one element inside the parenthesis. x to the fourth, y to the second, z to the third, all of it raised to the fourth power. We're going to multiply each exponent by the outside exponent. Keeping the same bases, we have x, y, and z. 4 times 4 is 16 is our new exponent for the x. 2 times 4 is 8, gives us our new exponent for the y. And 3 times 4 is 12, and that's our new exponent for the z. Look out for coefficients, which is the number in front of the variables. Its exponent is 1. Anytime you see a number or a variable without an exponent, just always assume it's 1. Do not multiply the exponent by the coefficient. Always multiply exponents by exponents. So here the same rules apply. We're going to keep all of the same bases. So we have a 2, an x, and a y. And the exponents will change. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 2 again is 2 and 3 times 2 is 6. We can rewrite this coefficient 2 squared as a 4, 2 times 2 is 4, and all the rest will stay the same, x squared, y to the 6th. Also look out for plus and minus signs inside the parentheses. You cannot distribute the exponent here, instead you have to FOIL. So in this example, 2x plus 3 and all of it squared is not equal to 4x squared plus 9. If you remember our exponents, the number on the bottom is the base, and the exponent is however many times we're multiplying the base by itself. So that means 2x plus 3 times itself twice. We'll look at how to solve a method for solving this type of problem later. It's called foiling. Look for it in a future lesson. This lesson helped you out to ace a quiz or a test. Maybe even got a little extra push in your homework because of my video. Well, maybe you could send me a dollar. Go on over to yourtutorline.com, click on the donate link on the right hand side. Just a dollar a lesson, that's all I ask. You can't get tutoring cheaper than that. Please leave comments and questions on the blog at yourtutoronline.com. Rate my videos on YouTube and share the videos with friends. I'll see you next time. Class dismissed.